Hi everyone, in today's video, I'm gonna give you a tutorial on how to create this awesome colorful back to school night sign on Google Slides. Since I'm preparing for back to school night and working on this presentation, I decided this would be the perfect time to do that. So I've already duplicated the first slide so that I can show you how to form it on a blank canvas. And we're gonna start off by thinking about how many lines we want. So I have back to on one line and school night is on the second line. So I'm gonna go up here, click on insert word art, and this box will be for line one. So I'm gonna write back to, and then click enter, and that'll be line one. Now line two, we're gonna get to that in just a moment. Let's go ahead and create our gradient. That's what it's called um, when it's this rainbow effect. And you can use whatever color you want. It does not have to be a rainbow, but in order to do that, you're gonna make sure you outline your box, click on fill color and click on gradient. So I have some customizations here already, but for the sake of this tutorial, I'm gonna start from scratch. Next to type, you are going to click on linear and then for angle 180 degrees. Now this is where you can personalize it and create whatever you want. You can change it to radial or change the angle and it'll give you all sorts of different directions in which the gradient appears. And then this is the bar that's gonna guide us in forming our colors. Right now, we're only gonna be able to add two colors because there are two boxes. So you're gonna go here where it says gradient stops and click on add, and you'll see that some circles appear and we want a total of six, including those two boxes. So, so far there's three, four, five, six. Depending on the amount of colors you want, that will determine how many circles or boxes you're going to have on this bar. So make sure you know what colors you want and how many there are. Then you're going to evenly space them out on the bar. This will just ensure that the gradient colors appear um, evenly and that they flow nicely. And then you're going to click on each box or circle and then click on the gray circle here and select the color that you want. Now, please keep in mind that the first box will be the color of the last letter of your word. I don't know why it does that, but that's just what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna make that pink. And then you can choose the different hue that you want for each color. It doesn't have to be the exact colors of the rainbow, it's up to you. Then I'm gonna click on this next circle, click on the gray box again, and then click your next color. I want, hmm, I'm gonna go with a lighter purple, maybe this purple. Then let's do um, aquamarine. I'm gonna do blue, yellow, seems like the next natural color. Let me do one of these. No, I don't like that. Let me just click the regular yellow and then orange. Oh, that's great, perfect. Then click okay and voila, you have your gradient slash rainbow colored text. And then if you wanna make it pop out, Again, you have to make sure the text is highlighted. Click on border color, select black, and that is still not enough black. So let's go ahead and click on border weight and change it to four. That's so much better. Font also makes a difference. Let's go ahead and select, I love McLaren. McLaren is good. We also, Babus New is the one that I have in the example, and then you can resize it. So here's what you wanna do for line two or however many lines of text you're gonna add. Once you have the effect that you want, right click and then copy and paste it. You can use the shortcuts or you can just use this uh, box pop-up and then I'm just gonna paste it, double click and then change the text. So here I'm gonna write school night and then adjust it and then resize so that it looks the way you want. All right, and that is all. 
Let me know in the comments down below if you have any other questions, and I will see you in the next one.